Welcome back my friends. Today is all about comfrey and this is what I call comfrey heaven. Absolutely loads of this stuff. And today I'm just going to uh, get a couple of bags just to start off the uh, comfrey pipe as my uh, comfrey is still really establishing itself and uh, I might as well make use of this uh, resource. Well, we're back at the plot, a bit more peacefully. I wouldn't like to live next to a, a main road. But I've got a couple of bags of uh, comfrey there. Uh, that's mine. And uh, this will be ideal for the top up. Now, the comfrey pipe. This is what I got from the uh, comfrey pipe last year. Now, I did notice that over the winter, we did have a little bit of residual water in an empty container. So I'm going to have to protect this. So basically, saucepan lid. Inside there is a flush fitting um, kitchen sieve, colander, what sieve shall we say, very fine. Um, bit of plastic uh, drainage pipe. Uh, there in the middle of the screen is a concrete block. You can use a bottle. But what I did, I cut a ring off that lined it with cardboard so then when the cardboard was off it fitted nicely up and down it's on a pulley system and whilst I'm filling it we can do that so excuse me guy always awkward to do so basically we'll drop that down because that's great it's going right down to the bottom but as this string travels up to about there I know I need to add more so uh, that's uh, how that works I don't want to let that go guys else it's going to end up in the uh, in the bottom so I'll get uh, this uh, topped up I'll get the uh, leaves taken off the stalks and then we'll show you uh, what we do with the rest. Keep the stalk separate. Really, I don't really want the stems. I remember from last year, I kept everything, uh, nothing gets wasted. So, just collecting the stem of the leaves, the leaf part of the plant, discarding those for now, so it's easy to load the, uh, the pipe, and I'll show you what we get from the pipe shortly. So basically we end up um, <clears throat> with a couple of piles, a few of the uh, stems and uh, just the leaves. Now uh, last year I did a reveal on what I thought there'd be nothing left in the comfrey pipe but you end up with this, what I call comfrey cake. I was going to tip it out but um, as you can see it's a lot of stuff there. So this is actually in layers. I don't touch it with another finger. So I was thinking about splitting it down and using it somewhere. Any suggestions, guys? What shall I mulch that with? Let me put my other glove on. I just don't want it on my fingers. It's going to look a bit. So, so basically we've got uh, layer upon layer of comfrey leaves and that, <coughs> oh, that's strong. <coughs> so basically throughout the summer now, now comfrey, has got different strengths throughout the year. 
I just collect it throughout the year and let it mix up. But uh, I have been told that it's better at certain times of the year. So I'll get on with this and I'll bring you back. So now the concrete blocks uh, nearly at the top. Uh, you can see the, uh, the string. It gets up to about there or beyond. I know that I've got to uh, top it up. And the uh, tub's now connected. Uh, just before I uh, forget, and it looks like I may have left this running. Um, so there's four tubs of the mixed uh, uh, magic mix, the uh, liquid plant foods. I've got uh, three tubs here of comfrey. There's 20 litres in each, and I've still got 40 litres of uh, last year's nettle. I'm right. Uh at the bottom of the uh, comfrey so I can't get any more out of the tap it's always thicker at the bottom even though I do stir it up still a drop left in there so I'm going to get some into a watering can Give that a mix up and we'll get it spread uh, on the strawberries. Strawberries will love this, they're just uh, forming the fruits, so uh, a great time to uh, get that uh, done. You can guess what my job's going to be today. So all the scratchy bits have uh, gone into the uh, now emptied barrel. It stays on the floor at this stage because I shall get a good pungent uh, mix and then it's easier to uh, offload into another container uh, all the bits uh, that we take out. And then once it's empty again, I'll pop it up there and tip the concentrate into the barrel and this year I must protect it from uh, rainfall. I'll leave you with the smell of the comfrey cake and I didn't gag guys, honest. Might have coughed a little bit but um, 
this is uh, how I do it, not how you should do it. But a few people have asked me about uh, comfrey and how long does it last. While it smells, to me, it's always good. And ideally mixed with other liquid plant foods, but also good as a separate feed for your fruit in uh, bushes, plants, etc. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Uh, my pumps have been ordered. Thank you very much for everybody who helped me out with the pumps uh, for pumping the water around the allotment. As soon as they arrive, I'll fill that uh, or part fill the blue barrel to start the process. Till next time, my friends. Happy composting, happy juice making, and don't forget you get one chance around this time of the year to make uh, a good start on your comfrey while it's young and fresh. Ta ra for now. Another reason why I don't like using my own comfrey.